I started my first television directing in film was uh, 1961. And the first five or six years were great. And then it started to, it started to unravel a little bit. What do you think, what do you think is the main cause of that? I mean, you mentioned specifically 65, 66. I think each of us can name a decade where things yes. just went south in each of our lifetimes. Like I can say, yes, 1985 is exactly for me when things got silly. Oh, you know, wh what do you think it was? Can you, can you point it to one tangible thing? A combination of things. Uh, in those earlier years, the networks, I mean, it would, when film moved from New York, when it was live right. to California, to the to film, when, when television, I mean, moved from New York live to film. Uh, during those first years, the networks were involved, but not that much. I mean, they, they were more they were more concerned that you didn't do anything in a, in a, a, a scene that would offend mm. a, a sponsor. But uh, it, it, uh, it, it as television became more popular and uh, more lucrative for the networks, they started to exert, they, they wanted more control over the show. And I think that, and also in those earlier years, the, in those beginning years, the writers that were writing for television were really writers that had written had been writing in new york for live television they 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 came with theater tra theater writing training and as television became more popular it needed more writers and the writers became people who hadn't been raised on theater mm -hmm. on movies they became they were writers who had been raised on television right i think that i think that was a, 